Welcome, and today we're going to look at the best weapons you can get and where to get them in Destiny 2. I've been working on this video in the background for a while now, learning new skills so that I can properly show this as a guide and be proud of it. I hope you enjoy this series as I'll be releasing a new video for a new weapon category twice a week until done. So make sure to subscribe to see that and like this video if you like this content. To start, I want to say just because a weapon doesn't make this list doesn't mean it isn't necessarily good, nor does it mean that it should be dismantled. It means that the weapons not listed are just outshined by other weapons currently. Always keep your best roll of any weapon you get in case that weapon or the frame type for that weapon gets buffed in the future. The crappy gun of today is the meta of tomorrow. With that being said, let's get it. This list is going to be about the legendary auto rifles that you can obtain from playing that are currently available and viable. This list is surprisingly small since they walk a fine line between accuracy and range. If the season ends up not having any auto rifle mods for champions, chances are I'll store these until they are available again. The first auto rifle we're going to talk about is a 7th Seraph Carbine. The 7th Seraph Carbine is a kinetic auto rifle that is a world drop, meaning that you can find this doing any activity or opening engrams. This also means that it will rotate through the gunsmith's available guns occasionally, so keep an eye out for that. This auto rifle is one of my favorite for a multitude of reasons. It is a 7th Seraph gun, so it can spawn more mine cells if you have the armor mods equipped, allowing you to spawn red orbs of destruction to decimate groups of enemies. It is a precision frame as well, giving a good range and solid recoil for longer shots, which are pretty common in in-game activities. Good rolls for this include several perks. Mine has armor piercing rounds, fourth times the charm, and vorpal weapon, with vorpal being the only perk I would go out of my way for on this gun. I feel the third perk slot is lacking, but fourth times the charm and auto loading holster are definitely the top picks. All of this makes 7th Seraph Carbine a go-to pick of mine always. The next gun on my list is going to be the Chroma Rush. The Chroma Rush is a new contender in the kinetic auto rifle slot and comes out swinging. You get the Chroma Rush from doing the Season of Splicer activities and from Splicer Engrams at the Prismatic Recaster. While it isn't a Warmind Cell Builder, it makes up for that with some extra muscle. Its range isn't anything to write home about within the Auto Rifle category, and I really consider the 720 rounds per minute Auto Rifle to be a pseudo SMG. Almost every perk in the 3rd and 4th slot are dedicated to killing and keeping the murder train running. Top picks for perk combos definitely goes to Kill Clip and Feeding Frenzy, absolutely working off each other, giving you a reload speed increase after kill and a damage increase after reloading. I'm also a big fan of the Subsistence and Rampage, giving you ammo after kills and helping you keep the damage boost from Rampage as you kill waves of enemies without ever reloading. This gun, while being good in PvE, I think really shines in PvP too. It's an easy gun to use and can definitely get you some kills, even if auto rifles aren't the meta right now. I also downright think the Chroma Rush is a fun gun to use. It's fast, snappy, and does work. Who could ask for more? This next auto rifle needs no introduction, but I'll do it anyways. Coming in at 450 rounds per minute, weighing down the inventory of any guardian who has gotten it, slaying the enemies with arc damage. We have the one, the only, Shadow Price. <laughs> Uh, joking aside, the Shadow Price is a Nightfall drop weapon, meaning to get this, you need to play Nightfalls the week it is available to have a chance at getting it. This auto rifle will feel a lot like the 7th Seraph Carbine, which is a good thing. Hard hitting, great range, decent recoil control, it has it all. It's also Arc, allowing you to destroy shields with ease when match game is up, and still stunning champions at the same time. It has a lot of solid perk choices in the fourth slot at least, including Disruption Break, Swashbuckler, One for All, and Dragonfly. I feel it is definitely lacking in the third perk slot, but my favorites from the list are going to be Feeding Frenzy and Four Times the Charm for their utility. Shadow Price is a super solid choice for any PvE activities and is always close by when my Guardian drops into battle. Next up is an elemental auto rifle I hold near and dear, the Gnawing Hunger. Void Element, 600 RPM, and made to murder your fellow guardians and alien enemies alike. Knowing Hunger crawls out from Gambit and is available as a world drop, so you can find this gun doing just about anything in the game. This gun, while not only being a good auto rifle, also has the benefit of being easy to get a decent roll on. The majority of the perks are good as a baseline, so just having one of this of any kind is great. Its fourth perk slot is a veritable feast of awesome, with top shiners such as Demolitionist and Rampage. The third perk slot is a little bit hit or miss while still not having much bad with Zen Moment and Subsistence pulling ahead as my preferred go-tos. 
My personal favorite role is subsistence with demolitionist, allowing me to keep firing while also building my grenade charge, which is important for grenade or stasis builds. And I even get a free reload when I use my grenade. One of my favorite guns and is a community favorite as well. You can't go wrong with gnawing hunger. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe. Be the person who can look back and say, I helped him get to where he is now. I need and value that support right now as I continue to push forward. For auto rifles, that's my list. I don't really feel there are very many strong contenders otherwise. For solar, you have Arctic Haze, which doesn't have great recoil for being a high rate of fire gun. And the Summoner, a good solar auto rifle that is impossible to earn currently since it isn't in the trials rotation. For all the others, I feel like some of them can be good, like Tiger Spite, but are outshined by another gun on the list that is also easy to get. In this case, the Seventh Seraph Carbine is the obvious choice between those two. Like I said in the beginning though, metas change, and if you like a gun, then use it. I'm sharing the best weapons and trying to let people know where to get them. I'll gladly add addendums to this list and will update with future weapon drops for sure. If that interests you, then make sure to go like and subscribe. If you want to tell me about it in the comments, you can, but you can also come to chat with me on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll be streaming there on set days so my brain doesn't overload from everything. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next one.